Hey folks, welcome to another edition of Random Questions, live here from the Lee O'Brien Charity Tournament right before the shooting star. We're lucky enough to sit down now with Hoyt Corkins, the legend himself. How you doing? Doing all right. Uh, just want to let you know these are questions that probably make no rhyme or reason, have no sense, and we just want to know a little bit more about you by how you answer. Thank you. Psychological profiling mm -hmm. will go on later. Let's do it. All right. All right. Random questions starting out this way. Arena football or the WNBA? WNBA. All right. If you could use a voodoo doll to hurt someone, would you? No. All right. Do you think the uh, world will be a better place in 100 years? Yes. All right. Worst injury you've ever sustained? I hurt my knee playing high school football. How bad? Uh, I was in a cast for six weeks. Still bothers me today. Would you be willing to murder an innocent if it ended world hunger? Sure, I think so. All right. Let me take a little bit of look here, make sure I'm not doing anything else. Ah, here we go. Have you? Uh, would you rather be blind or deaf? Rather be deaf. All right. No sense of taste or no sense of smell? No sense of smell. All right. Now we're going to get something a little bit morbid here. Feel free to uh, work with you. You have, what would be, what would bother you more out of these four? Your body left to rot, no one around to claim your body. Friendless for the rest of your life. Eaten by your pets. Or betrayed by your significant other. Betrayal by significant other. All right. If you were able to wake up tomorrow in the body of someone else, who would it be? It's never any time. Wow, body of somebody else. Um, <laughs> wow, I don't know. Newborn baby, that sounds good to me. Oh, you're cheating. You're stealing Todd's. Yeah, answers. I need to do something different. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How much would it take for you to grow your hair out in dreadlocks and live your life as normal with no hat, no wig, no explanation to anyone else? I'd do it for a million dollars. For a million dollars. Yeah. All right. Would you rather play against someone who is less talented than you, more skilled than you, or luckier than you? Uh, less talented. Less talented. All right. Better player, Buddha or Confucius? Confucius. All right. Beach or mountains? Mountains. All right. If you could solve one great ill in the world instantly, what would it be? Cancer. Good stuff. All right. When did you last yell at somebody? I don't know. <laughs> I'm having a hard time imagining you yelling really, at somebody. Really, yeah, I don't know. Maybe... Six months ago, I really don't know. Do you want to tell us why? I can't remember. I All can't right. re even remember if it was six months ago. All right. If you could Just have guess. <laughs> one of the following for one year, which would you choose? The perfect cook, chauffeur, masseuse, housekeeper, or personal secretary? Secretary. Secretary. Going right on the way. You've got $1 million that you have to spend on an absolute stranger in 24 hours. Not the person texting you at this moment. Yeah. <laughs> How would you spend it, and what kind of person would you give it to? A million dollars to spend on a perfect stranger. I don't know. I would um, try to find somebody that's underprivileged, want to go through college or something. Give it to them. All right. Good. Describe your perfect dream. My perfect dream. Uh, wow, that's complicated. I really don't know. I think life is a journey, and I think you just, you know, you enjoy the journey. And if you have a dream to get it, you might not be happy once you get it. Fair enough. All right. What would be worse, an insincere person or a bold faced liar? Insecure. Insincere. All right. If you could have a consequence free shot at one person, who would it be, and how would you do it? Uh, 
Wow, I don't know. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't. I guess I just had to pass on that one. I'm okay, just count. Right. Just a shot at one person. Like, you can, I mean, you could, you know, kick your worst enemy in the nuts. You could take out a, you know, yeah. an enemy leader with a sniper shot. You could do whatever you wanted. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I just. I don't believe in enemies, so I don't know. I, Fair so enough. No, it's a good answer. What has been the biggest disappointment in your life? Uh, the biggest disappointment probably for me was I was married and I got a divorce, and so that would probably be my di biggest disappointment. Good stuff. Would you rather live life brilliant but tortured or happy but extremely simple-minded? Happy and simple. All right. Now we're going to move on to the lightning round, which is a heads-up death match for your entire bankroll with either one of two people. Mm -hmm. Before I ask this, I'm going to ask you to name the four best poker players that you've known in your life. Um, I guess I'd say Dole Brunson, Chip Reese, uh, Phil Ivey, Daniel Lebron. Okay. We're going to start it off with the actual players. Doyle or Chip Reese? Doyle. All right. Phil Ivey or Daniel Negreanu? Ivey. All right. What game would you pick? To play them guys at? Uh, Deuce 7, triple draw. All right. Now the next one's Keith Richards or Ted Nugent? Ted Nugent. All right. Hank Williams Jr. or Hank Williams Sr.? I'm a big Hank Sr. fan. I'd say Sr. All right. JFK or Lincoln? Lincoln, of course. All right. Nixon or Truman? Well, Nixon was a poker player and Truman was too. Oh, he got it. Uh, got the connection. I'll go with Truman. All right. Dr. Phil or Oprah? Oprah. All right. Your grandmother or your mother? Actually, my grandmother's one that started me playing cards, so I'd say my grandmother. All right. Mike Tyson or John Madden? Love John Madden. I'd go with him. All right. Well, that's it for the lightning round. Thanks for your time. We really, really appreciate it, Hoyt, and hope we can do it again sometime. I Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for a lot. having me. Bye-bye. Yeah.